I still think this is a scam. <laughs> no, um, we're three years and three days in the business. Um, and this is our second chairman's bonus check. So I think it's a while since I thought this was a scam. I have great belief in this company. Um, and I think, uh, for those of you that were in London, I think you all, how, how I presume, am I right in saying you all have a great belief in this company after coming from London? It's just amazing. And you, you hear it all the time about the, the three things you need to believe in. You need to believe in the products, you need to believe in the company, and you believe, need to believe in, the, in yourself. The last one probably and definitely is the most important. But belief in the company comes from attending your meetings, attending your success days, and if you get an opportunity to go to London or go to the big event or the Eagle Managers Retreat, that's where you get your belief in the company. And I think the, the belief has never been higher in this country, in the UK. Um, I'm going to leave the thanking to Louis. Okay. okay. <laughs> Louis doesn't want to talk. Something's wrong. Okay. <laughs> I'd love to just thank, uh, I, I know it happens at every success day, every month in, month out, we thank Bob and the team, and rightly so. But I think what he'd done in London was incredible. And I know he had a... <laughs> I, know he, I know he had an incredible team behind him, Nick Woodward Shaw and Paul Zant and, and all the Irish team and UK team, but. The man was walking around like as if he was on a beach in Barbados and one of the m most amazing events and organi was been organized, so thanks a million, Bob, for, for everything. Um, I'd like to thank our upline, Ain and Lisa, uh, phenomenally inspirational people, and over the last three years have given us incredible training and support and friendship and uh, leading the way with level two incredible checks um, and we hope to emulate you um, very, very shortly in that regard. Um, I'd like to thank our team, um, all of our team, particularly uh, Pat and Breach for the second year in a row uh, did our, our downline leg. Uh, thanks a million for that. And all of our team indeed, um, who every bit, everyone he contributed to this. But uh, Cancun and, and uh, Singapore. <laughs> We need our team there. We want you to be further inspired. And if you, if you want it, we'll help you get it. But we, we don't want to be there on our own next year. So put the work in and, and tell us you want it and we'll help you. And we wish everybody in the room success. And we want more than 14 checks next, next year. Um, another incredible achievement uh, per head of capita. 14 checks to Ireland is incredible. So well done to everybody. <laughs> as nervous in um, London getting it, but um, you know, just, or sorry, as Jason said, just over three years, this time three years ago we started in the business and I didn't want the business, it all just took off and long story, but anyway we got here. Um, it does take a lot of hard work, a lot of commitment and you have to make the business a priority and everybody's got different priorities and you know we've got families and things like that and, and things and um, we've got three young children so the kids are our main priority and we see so many people come into the business and they make the kids their excuse not for doing the business you know I can't get a babysitter I can't do that or this is on or the other things on and we hear it so many times whereas we make them our reason for doing it hmm. and um, there, like I'm from I'm the fourth oldest in a family of 12 we never saw my father growing up because he was there, but he worked so much. We saw him on a Sunday. He was away at six o'clock in the morning, didn't come back into the evening. The first time I was ever out of Ireland was when we went on our first holiday together when I was 20, 21 years old. Um, going to Dublin was, I don't know, you just were leaving the country if you went to Dublin. <laughs> so um, it was a huge thing. And I wanted so much to give my kids more than I had. And it was only whenever I was in my late 20s that I actually realized the sacrifices my parents had made um, 
what they had done. And in that 12 children, there's one of my brothers who's severely mentally and physically handicapped. So that took up a lot of my parents' time, but they still had time for us and they still you know, gave us everything else that we wanted. And as Jason says, like, you know, London was incredible, absolutely phenomenal. And it does really, really open it up, what's available for the company. And even um, just the, what the company do, what Forever Ireland do, they book everything for you. They actually emailed us our boarding passes. They checked us in. We didn't even have to do that. And we were in London, and I met with um, a friend of mine that's living in London, and she said, what, what airport did you fly into? And I had this blank impression, <laughs> expression on my face. And she said, what do you mean? What, you know, what airport did you come into? Was it Heathrow? Was it Gatwick? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> And she said, um, what do you mean you don't know? And I said, well, they booked us in. They gave us the flight. We didn't even know if it was international or sort of Belfast airport that we were leaving from. We just landed in the airport. We landed at the airport we, in wherever, in London. And there was a placard outside. Gatwick, well, OK. And there was a placard outside. Louise and Jason Lyons and um, David Stewart and Phyllis came were on the same flight as us as well. So there was a placard outside the door. We got into a taxi and we ended up in the hotel and that was all I knew. But um, the highlight for me, the big highlight for me over every single thing, and I've said this to some of my team already, over the weekend was on Friday evening and we were all in, with, in the pub with um, our team. And of course, the champagne had a little bit to do with it, but um, I checked in on Facebook. And there was, uh, I was tagged in a post from our oldest son. And he's 12, so he's Facebook for the last couple of months. And he had in it, congrats to mommy and daddy, and he tagged the both of, both of us on getting 7,500, feeling blessed. <laughs> and I read it, and of course the team that was around me saw the tears and saw that. And I was, that just was a highlight for me because you know, a normal, well, an average 12-year-old, you'd be thinking, oh, money, and, you know, what can we buy, and what we can, can, we can do, and what can we do with this money? But he was just, like, feeling blessed. And I thought, we're doing our job right. You know, we are... Um, you know, we teach them to step up to be the best that they can, and it's okay, they're not angels or anything by far. <laughs> but, you know that take responsibility, and when they came back, they were so proud. Like, they literally were over the moon of what we had done. And I thought, for that, for a child at that age, being proud of their parents, when I didn't feel that till I had three kids and knew what stress was, um, and appreciated my parents, so that, to me, was a highlight. And that sort of drives me farther on in the business. So it doesn't put the guilt on that, oh my God, my kids and I have to do this, and I have to spend more time with them. We spend more time than my sister who works in a shop part-time. We see our kids more than she does because of the hours that she's told to work. Whereas we work when they're at school and you know, when they're in bed and things like that. We could be working till 12, 1 o'clock in the morning some nights or even longer if we're away. But they're in bed. They don't know any difference. So if you have children and you think that it's an excuse for you not to do this, get it out of your head. Picture of the life that you can give them for what you can inspire them to be and what to do, and your business will explode. Really, really will explode. So that's all I've got to say. And Jason's done the thank you. So.